Hey everyone, this is Sira Sela. Welcome to the Elpa podcast. Elpa is an association of players in your league, which aims to collectively represent players and help their careers. We will be bringing you conversations with current and former EuroLeague players and other personalities from the world of basketball. Our guests will talk about their journeys, on and off the court stories, and look deeper into what it means to be a vital part of the basketball industry. I felt, you know, big happiness, excitement, everything in one moment, you know, a lot of emotions, but, you know, I still calm, stay calm because I have the game to play. It was a really nice moment, you know, one of the, be- I think, the best moment in my life, probably. Yeah. You were not scared? I wasn't scared. <laughs> my new guest is Tarik Biberovic, who is 18 years old and plays for Fenerbahce. Tarik talked about his journey as a young man in Yoli. He also told us how he felt playing for Coach Obradovic and alongside players like Gigi Datome or Nando De Colo. We discussed his experience with Elpa and you will know who is Tarik's favorite player and what is he dreaming for. Enjoy! So do you remember the very first time you had the basketball in the ends? The very first time uh, I remember, I, I don't remember, but my mother told me to be exactly like I was three, I think three, four, and all the kids, you know, were shooting the ball with legs, you know, it's normal. Football yeah. is the first sport. Usually my father saw me and he said to my mother, stop him, stop him immediately. <laughs> Give the ball in his hands, let him throw it. <laughs> I think that was the first time I shoot, to be exact. So now you're 18 years old and you and it's already your second year as a EuroLeague player. What does that mean to you to play in arguably the second best league in the world? It means a lot, you know. I've been given a big opportunity here, you know, to listen and work every day and to learn from the best. It means a lot, you know, and every chance I get, I'm trying to use in the best way, in the best way possible. So I think your first game, very first game, was in February with Fenerbahce in your league. Yes. What did you feel the day you played? I felt, you know, big happiness, excitement, everything in one moment, you know, a lot of emotions. But, you know, I still calm, stay calm because I have the game to play. It was a really nice moment, you know, one of the be- I think, the best moment in my life, probably. Yeah. You were not scared? I wasn't scared. <laughs> How is it to play for Coach Obradovic, which that's, is one of the best I mean. coach in the yeah, world? He's the best coach, best coach here, you know, and every day is, you know, new chance to learn something new for him. You know, the biggest things you can learn from him is, you know, his character, you know, every game, every practice. It's, you know, important to be concentrated maximum and those mm-hmm. are, you know, he pays attention to, you know, small details. And then you pay attention to the small of this and mm. getting better every day with him. Mm. And you are mm. also surrounded by experienced players like Gigi Datome or Derek Williams, Nando Docolo. What do you learn from them? Yes, they're all, you know, first of all, like, they're good guys, all of them. And, you know, they're always there to help you if you're, like, in any bad situation. Like, but on practices, you can learn a lot of them. You know, they're experienced players. Experienced players, uh, each of them, you know, different positions and you can yeah. learn something new from each of them and you know they're good guys they will always let you down what you need to know what you need to pay attention for do you have a special treatment being the younger player in the team do you have special task or uh, I don't know I I help you know I help about you know of course because I'm the youngest yeah I help about the bags and all things but nothing special they treat me as one of their own and you know I'm glad it's that way, you know. I ac- actually, I didn't, I didn't know it would be this way because I heard stories, you know. Yeah. Youngest guy always. We all heard. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, they are good guys and I don't know, it's all kind of the same. Okay. I hope they, they all stay the same after listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope too. <laughs> so you don't have the daily life of, of a regular young 18 years old kid. 
how do you handle all of this like being professional earning your own money the pressure of the games it's not like everybody is not living this life how do you handle this i know what you but it's nothing i actually don't think about it that way like i wait you know i wake up go to practice go back to sleep again go to practice you know if i have some free time maybe visit something i don't know but you know i just keep my focus on what i really like and work on it and i'm 18 i don't think about money and i and i play because i love the game that's why not mm. because of the money and i mean i don't think about it really but you know i just you know pay attention to what i love and work hard on it mm. what was the first thing you bought when you get when you got your first salary to be to be honest i don't know i think i gave my money to my parents, parents. So i don't know good kid <laughs> I didn't buy anything special, really. What, um, what do you remember for your very first year as a professional? Do you have things that you will never mm. forget? I remember the first game, the first moment I got into the court. Of course, I remember that. Uh, that might be, you know, I told you, the best moment of my life. And everything else, you know, was kind of, kind of game. Enjoying it, loving it, every second of the game. So nothing, nothing to be, nothing special. Nothing maybe. special. Yeah. And who are your favorite players? My favorite players, you mean NBA? All over the Or world. I don't. Yeah. Like, tot like total, like, total. My favorite player favorite, ever favorite. Kobe is Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Like, here, domestic favorite player ever is Dražen Petrović. Okay. And right now, Skyrim Durant. Kevin Durant? Yes. Okay. And what about Kobe? You were watching videos and everything? When he was in his prime, I was a kid. I was seven years old, yeah. seven, eight years old. But of course, I watched some games. And even now, I, you know, just tap and watch all YouTube. his old game. Not just the tapes. I just watch all the game, how he played and all the things. Watch highlights, of course, mm -hmm. and all these kind of things. So you've been at the General Assembly of Elba in July. How was your experience there? It was good, you know, I was surrounded with all these, you know, EuroLeague players, good players, uh, but first of all, good guys, good persons. I had a nice time, you know, see what it's all about, mm -hmm. uh, see, you know, how they think, uh, the way they want to change, you know, they want to change life for us to be, like, more easier, mm -hmm. and, you know, I like it. And what, what did you learn from that? I, I learned, like, I learned the only thing is, you know, everything we do is positive, you know, to be better for, for us, to make it easier for us and, you know, to live easier life. Mm. Well, do you think it's, it's important for young players to be involved in ELPA, even if you're still young? I don't know. For me, for me, to be honest, but I don't know if I'm going to sleep, like, on the couch next game I'm gonna play the game for me it doesn't yeah. matter really but for the other players you know for the other players it means to, the, to them these small things small details because they don't want to go through all of that 10 years 10 years in a row they want to you know get easier life for me I'm younger I can do whatever you want mm. to be honest but for sure it's better even for me yeah so last question what's your dream what's my dream yeah what's my dream My dream is to be the best player I can be, for sure. The best, best player I can be. And, you know, of course, to go to NBA. But step by step, I go step by step, work on my game, work on myself every day. And, you know, to be the best version of myself as a man, as a player. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to Tarek, and I hope you enjoy. See you in two weeks for a new episode of Alpha Podcast.